everybody, it's John here from VidGamiac.com. Here we are today back in the State of Decay Lifeline DLC, grabbing the Freak Hunt achievement. This is to complete all of the Sasquatch missions. Now, you can start unlocking the Sasquatch missions as soon as Sasquatch calls you on the radio. He will tell you to come get him. The mission is called Reinforce My Ass. And he will appear in the tunnels, which is basically no man's land in the DLC. A ton of zombies will be down here, so make sure you bring a car, as well as a bunch of food and snacks and medicine into this fight. Once you clear the zombies, talk to him and you will be able to recruit him and then you have to drive him back to the base so make sure you drive him back to the base and then you can start doing the Sasquatch missions. They will be given to you at the beginning of a new siege cycle so once you complete a siege you can do the next Sasquatch missions and what these are are hunting missions where you are tasked with killing a special infected in a very special way. So the first one is to kill a bloater with a headshot. Now I recommend bringing a sniper rifle or an assault rifle into this mission. With the assault rifle, make sure when you are in targeting mode, you hit the A button to switch it to single shot mode. And all you have to do is line up the headshot and score the kill and you should be finished with the first mission. Careful not to get too close to the bloater or shoot it in the stomach because it will explode and you will get sick. But once that's taken care of, you can move on to the next day cycle. Now, when you are in siege mode, you have a possibility of Sasquatch dying. So during sieges, you want to make sure you protect him over everybody else. So watch his back, make sure he doesn't die, and make sure you keep him safe. And finish up all of the uh, sieges, and then the next day will start, and the first mission you'll be given uh, during the next day cycle will always be a hunting mission. So the next mission requires you to kill a feral zombie with a blade. Feral zombies are going to be those crawly zombies that are really hard to kill on foot and with melee, so usually you're supposed to run them over with cars, but this mission has you um, killing them with a, a edged weapon. So make sure you equip some swords, hatchets, whatever you have, and make sure your melee skill is leveled up quite a bit because this is quite a daunting fight. Bring some food and a ton of medicine and go to the mission zone and make sure you clear out the zombies. You want a big open space for it so you don't get ambushed and make sure you just work your best to kill him. Sasquatch will help you out and once you take him out you should get your next mission done so just keep swinging away and when you're tired make sure you eat some snacks and then you should be good when you get hurt make sure you take your medicine always keep your eye on your health and stamina bar make sure it's always full and make sure you're always swinging and then you should have that one done no problem make sure you return to the base you always have to return to the base in order to complete the mission all right, next siege cycle complete and the new day has started. Make sure you start the next mission. This is to destroy a screamer using fire. So go to your supply chest, make sure you grab all the Molotovs, petrol bombs, and fire bombs you can, and head to the next mission. Now this one's a little glitchy, so I recommend having a ton of fire bombs. If you're having trouble finding them, what you can do is you can go to gas resources and break them apart and then grab as many as you can. The reason why this is glitchy is because the screamers don't tend to die your first time around. So so if you run into a situation like this where you can't hit it with fire no matter how hard you try, what you want to do is you just want to kill it and then move on to the next one. It's really glitchy. This is also in the Xbox One version in case you are playing that. So if you're like this where you run into a fireproof screamer, just kill it and the second screamer you find shouldn't have this issue. So that is a uh, tip right here. But anyways, it's just basic uh, knowledge. Um, just throw the petrol bomb at the screamer's feet and eventually he'll die. And then that'll knock out the third one out of the way. And the fourth and final one, which is super duper hard, is to kill a juggernaut using melee. I recommend backing up your save for this, so grab a USB thumb drive and make sure you copy your save over just in case. This mission is super duper hard, so make sure you are well stocked before tackling this. I will be showing you two methods on how to do this mission, and the reason what makes this mission hard is because the Juggernaut tends to kill Sasquatch, and as always, if Sasquatch dies, you will fail the mission and miss the achievement. So the first thing you want to do is you want to stock up on melee weapons. I recommend having two edged weapons, or whatever weapons your character is most proficient at. Mine is edged weapons, yours might be blunt or heavy. Bring a ton of ton of medicine and stamina power-ups, so food as well as the stamina pills. And then bring a thing of grenades and bring a rifle. 
and I'll explain that in a bit. Now there's two places the Juggernaut can spawn. He'll either spawn in an open area, that way you can use cars to weaken him before the finishing kill. As long as the, the finishing kill is a melee kill, it will count towards the mission. So you can use cars and guns to weaken him and then land a finishing shot. So this is my first attempt right here on Xbox One, where I brought a car in, I hit him once, and then what you want to do is you want to equip your grenade and then try to get a explosion in. As long as you only use one grenade, you should weaken him to a point where you can kill him in a few melee hits. But do not use a second grenade, he will go down in two explosions. So once you get the grenade blast off, make sure you run up to him and start whacking away. Whenever he's charging at you, make sure you hit the B button to roll out of the way, and you should be good. Always use your food to max out your stamina, and always use your medicine whenever you take a hit by either him or a surrounding zombie. But uh, anyways, your also main objective is to keep Sasquatch safe. Once again, if he dies, you will fail the mission and miss the achievement, and that is why we backed up our save. So make sure you keep your eye on the Sasquatch, and make sure you uh, keep your eye on the health and stamina meter, and keep swinging away until this dude dies. And just gonna keep slashing him. There we go, got him down. And this is my attempt on Xbox 360. This is the northern part of town where the Juggernaut will usually spawn during this mission. Only problem is there are no cars in this area, and there's no way to bring a car into this area. But luckily, you have this warehouse right here, and the Juggernaut cannot fit through that door. So the reason we brought a gun into this fight is so we can go on this side of the fence, we can shoot him to get, us, to get him chasing after us, and then we can go in the doorway and then just slash away to our heart's content. And you want to make sure you keep Sasquatch behind you so he doesn't get hit accidentally. And you want to do your best to weaken him. You can either put a, a few pot shots in his stomach here. If you also have your grenade left over, you can throw a grenade at him and then weaken him that way. And as when you're ready, just uh, pull out your melee weapon and start slashing away. And you should be good. Once again, keep your eyes on Sasquatch. Make sure you keep him safe because usually the way you'll fail this mission is not dying, but having the Sasquatch do something stupid and end up killing himself in the process. But uh, this way you can just make sure Sasquatch stays behind you, you can slash away, and uh, make sure you kill the Juggernaut. And there we go, got uh, both ways in right there, in case you can't find a uh, car. Anyways, uh, make your way to the, your home base, make sure you keep Sasquatch alive, obviously. And once you're here, you... Uh, We'll have a little wait. Now, if you don't get the achievement right away, uh, don't freak out and turn off your Xbox. It usually takes about a minute and a half to pop for whatever reason. So don't think the achievement's glitched. It just takes a really long time to pop. So just uh, stay here for a bit, and you should get it. There it is. It's going to be for 10 gamer score, and that's all there is to it.